it's Wendy. I'm so excited to show you this stuff that I have to show you today and to make a project with you. And we're gonna make the project in just a second. But first, I just wanna give you a couple of heads up. First, you can purchase the Storage by Stampin' Up! products starting today. The links are below this video in the description. So any of the items you see here, they will hold um, ink pads, Stampin' Blends, and there's even little cubies that are just open. And then there's this really cute cubie at the top that can hold ink refills and other things. And you can get this gorgeous floral grid paper, which I think is going to get overlooked. And my understanding is that this is while supplies last. I have some of it. Look how beautiful it is. So it's $11.75 for a whole pack of it. And I think there's 50 sheets in a pack, maybe more. I'd have to double check that, but the link is in the description below the video to purchase any of these items. Also, when you place an order with me in the month of April, you will receive this amazing Stampin' Anonymous tutorial bundle for free. This is 26 pages of awesome projects made to celebrate women. And so that is my theme for this month and we're gonna talk about that a little more the next part of my video. And then the last thing I wanted to show you is this super cute catalog survival kit. And I am giving these away with a brand new catalog to anybody who places a $65 or order, order or more with me in the month of April. So if you want to place an order with me in the month of April and you happen to make it $65 or more, you will receive a free brand new catalog in May along with this survival kit and a couple of other fun things. Now. I do want to explain to you really quick that the catalog survival kit and the brand new catalog are going to be released and available to order from in June. So my recommendation to you is to purchase it, um, purchase products now to guarantee that you're going to be the very first one to get a catalog. I am going to be sending out catalogs on in the beginning of May. So anybody who has placed an order with me in April will be on the list first and will get their catalogs first. So I can order them beginning of May and then about mid-May is when they'll start being sent out. So if that's something you want and you are excited about the new catalog, I highly recommend um, uh, joining in and, and purchasing with me. Thanks so much, let's go stamp. Okay, so now we're gonna make this awesome box. This is for my mama, as I discussed earlier. And I'm going to tell you a funny story or two about her while we make this. We're gonna use Fable Friends Itty Bitty Greetings, which is in the annual catalog. And I love Itty Bitty Greetings, by the way. If you don't have that stamp set, you should have it. And um, I've got the layering squares framelits, and I use the stitched shapes framelits, and I've got the how sweet it is, is that what it's called? How sweet it is designer series paper. Okay, gorgeous grape, memento tuxedo black, got some blends, here we go. We need the long arm of your trimmer, which by the way, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! trimmer, it's the best one ever. Even people who don't use Stampin' Up! products all the time love our trimmer. So we're gonna score on the eight and three fourths side at one and an eighth, and four and an eighth, and five and a quarter, and six and a quarter. Uh, no, that's not right. Five and a quarter, <laughs> and, um, eight and a quarter. Okay. So, um, we're turning it. Now we're scoring at one and an eighth and again at five and one eighth. And if you aren't real familiar with measurements and how to measure, I have a video on that. So I'll link to it at the end of this video and then six and a quarter. Okay. So here's the deal. The card, this card stock piece or designer paper piece is cut at eight and three quarters by eight and an eighth. And all the measurements and the supplies are listed below my video. They're also listed on my blog. And you can go there to get all that info in case you missed it in the video. 
I'm going to trim away everything on the top except for this very last flap and I if you notice I'm trimming on the side that doesn't have the half inch closure tab so this half inch closure tab here needs to be trimmed away also just off the top of the box this piece is your lid so we're gonna trim away there trim on a diagonal trim on a diagonal at the bottom and also trim away um, this little corner piece and that is your box okay now let's talk about my mom so here's the thing my mom is an awesome person she raised my sister and I pretty much by herself um, and I actually that's really not totally true she had a lot of help from my grandma and grandpa but she was a single mom she worked really hard a lot of times she worked a full-time regular job. She had a really good job, actually, um, as far as, like, it had benefits, and, and it was a good job. Didn't pay the greatest, but it, it was a good job. And then on the weekends and stuff, sometimes she would work catering events or different things to have extra money or just enough to make ends meet. And so it was good. Um, she worked hard to keep us clothed, keep us fed, um, and she did a good job of all those things. My mom and I have an interesting relationship. We have struggled off and on for years to really get along. Part of that is because we are very similar. Um, she and I both are more type A personalities, very opinionated, um, strong-willed, and so when you put two people like that together, it often creates an uh, interesting dynamic. Um, one of the things that um, I love about her, though, is my mom has an ability to forgive that I really rarely come across in my life. And I like to believe that I also have learned that ability from her. She is not a grudge holder she gets angry, she has a fit about something, and then she moves on. And that's pretty much how I am. Like, I'm not somebody who's going to stay mad at you forever. If you do something, it's going to piss me off. I'm going to tell you about it, and then we'll move on. Sorry for the language. But um, that's how she is. And I learned that from her. And that ultimately, forgiveness is the best thing in the world for yourself, because being angry and being frustrated with people only makes you miserable, doesn't really affect them. So it was a huge lesson I learned from her. Now let's talk about some funny things because that's really more what I'm interested in discussing. Um, Mom is has a quirky sense of humor. She she has there's things that she finds really funny that are really weird. She also is like the queen of puns. She will look for an opportunity to crack a stupid joke. Literally, it does not matter what it is. She will find a way to, if there's something that's like a pun and she can make it into something, it, she's going to do it. She cannot help herself. And it is hysterical now. When I was a kid, it was very annoying. And, you know, as a kid, you're like, oh, my God, you're embarrassing me. You know, stop. But now I think it's hysterical. And I know when it's coming. Like, I can tell. Oh, here, she, here comes a Paula. She's going to tell one. And everybody knows this about her. And we all think it's funny and laugh about it. And she also loves sweet treats, which is why I'm making this for her. Because... She loves chocolate and pretty much anything sweet. And um, I just always remember growing up, she loved those pinwheel cookies. They're like a chocolate coating on the outside and marshmallow inside. And then it has like a graham cracker crust, which by the way, yum. So if you've never had a pinwheel, you should buy one. Although I don't even know if you can still, do they still make them? You'll have to tell me. So funny story about the pinwheels is growing up, um, my mom told me the story that when she was a kid, her and my Aunt Nettie, who we're also going to be featuring this week, loved pinwheel cookies. And so my grandma would buy a box of pinwheel cookies and have them at the house. And my Aunt Nettie and my mom would fight over them. 
who, who ate how many, who got, you know, some here, some there, whatever, they would fight over them. So one day it made my grandpa so mad, her dad, that he went and bought two boxes of pinwheel cookies and made them eat all of the cookies. <laughs> like they had to sit there and eat all of them. And he would not let them go until they ate them all. And mom says that they never fought about the pinwheel cookies again, because it, I'm sure it made them both sick. But he was tired of hearing them fight about it. So anyway, um, I've always thought that was a really funny story. And I've got another really funny one too. I hope I have time to tell it. I'm running a little late here, but, um, these awesome, these are awesome Velcro stickies, by the way, I'll link to them below the video. Anyway, so I think it was my mom. Now, see, sometimes I get these stories a little confused because as a kid, you hear them and then you kind of make up in your mind who it was, but then I'm not always a hundred percent sure. So I'm pretty sure it was my mom that did this, but she, um, <laughs> she thought there was like a, somebody in her apartment she was in a new apartment and she thought somebody was in there. This is years before she had kids or anything. And so she grabbed scissors and Windex because she was going to fight off the assailants with scissors and Windex. And I'm pretty sure it was her, although I'm like having this brain fart of like, was that actually my Aunt Nettie? Maybe it was somebody else, but I think it was my mom. At any rate, even if it wasn't my mom, that is something my mom would do. I could totally see her walking through a house with a pair of scissors and um, Windex trying to take someone down. I think it's hysterical. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click that little bell that's next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I have videos. Click on the circle with my face to subscribe. Click on either one of the videos you see here and you can shop with me at Shop Love and Stampin'. Bye-bye.